eyes in your spirit. Close your eyes and meditate on these words. Lend a listening ear. Oh, two listening ears. Clear your mind of all your concerns and worries, of all your self-doubt and loathing. Freedom and a new way of life is awaiting. We are about to have the ultimate face-off. It's the moment of truth, so take a deep breath. Can you feel it? Time standing still. Now, picture yourself outside in a garden. Notice your surroundings. They are lovely, beautiful, but there is something better than what you could ever imagine. So keeping your eyes closed, avert your gaze upon the earthly things in the garden and look upwards into heaven. Now you are in God's garden. Look around. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it divine? The flowers are beyond compare. The colors beyond description. God is there. He is the master gardener in your own secret garden. Oh, don't be shy. Go up and meet with him. Stare deeply into his face. Feel yourself being enraptured and enveloped by eternity and everlasting love. This is the beginning of God's quest and personal invitation to restore a strong and intimate personal relationship with him. After all, he gave his son, Jesus Christ, as a sacrifice an atonement and redeemer for us so that he could be in relationship with you and me. And he wants to meet with you today. It's been a magnificent process since you trusted Jesus Christ as your savior, but that was only the beginning. Since then, your life has been pruned back, revealing and awakening you to the very presence of God. This is not a time to cover back up with the weeds or the the thorns or the thistles. Instead, let yourselves go beyond this because beyond this, all this earthly comprehension and imagination is Jesus. And he wants to stare into your eyes So stare deeply into his eyes of true. What do you see? You are exposing yourself to his true nature. So take a few moments and commune with him. Smile. Reach out. Respond to his presence. Love. Wisdom, joy, and favor. Intentionally reach out. Take both hands and reach out now and accept the call by God and honor him wholeheartedly. Sense your place in his family and the intimacy he has for you. God alone is choosing to infuse and infect you with his presence and draw you into relationship with him. Be captivated by him. Allow him to remove everything inside you that inhibits you from becoming a mature manifestation of Christ. Things that can really hinder us. So take a few moments and silently confess any wrongdoings that have hindered your relationship with him. It could be stubbornness. It could be your propensity to gossip, to spread out 
rumors and lies and, and innuendos about people or stretching maybe a small truth into a bigger one and getting trapped in talking with others instead of with God about things going on in your life. Maybe it's unforgiveness. Maybe you've chosen not to forgive somebody or, or a group of people or just anybody in your life. Confess that to him. Don't let those things hinder you anymore. Just take all of that uckiness and get it out. Get it out. You don't want to be stuck in that mire. No. You want to have an intimate face time with God. Because when you have an intimate face time with God, it is a journey beyond compare. A purpose life filled with deep encounters, one that is devoted to discovering and hosting the presence of God. Isn't that a great trade? It's, it's an amazing trade, and God wants to give it to you. It's a supernatural about face, a divine process that comes with a guarantee that you and I will never be the same again. Why would we want to be when we could stare into the eyes of God and his endless love and mercy and grace and holiness? This creates a paradigm shift that causes our earthly perspective to literally face plant itself into the dirt. And that's where it belongs, face planted in the dirt. What once was limited is now limitless. What once was foreign is now familiar. What once was void is now filled. See God incarnate and respond to him as your father, as your master, as your creator, as the sublime. You are giving your nothing for all. It's forcing you to come to grips with the endless love that paid the ultimate price to be in relationship with you. It is a purposeful exchange that requires you to lay down your dignity, pride, and ownership not only of your very life, but your very being and very existence. Some may see it as too costly, but trading anything for more of God really is the greatest deal offered to mankind. What could you or I possibly have that would equal his value? For believers who choose to answer nothing, the greatest privilege is to be re rewarded with everything. This doesn't mean there won't be trials or tribulations and extreme personal cost, even death in this life on earth. But to a Christian who responds to the face of God, Who has been captivated and cap catapulted into his eyes of truth. It doesn't matter what you are faced with because it becomes insignificant to what God allowed his son to give. It doesn't matter if devastation comes. You become immune to the devastation because God has actually given you a supernatural grace to live opposite to your circumstances in life, giving you a priority of obedience to God, regardless of what others might think or say or do. So draw nearer to God in his garden. 
Do you feel yourself hungry for more of him? Consumed for his goodness? Starving for his irresistible glory? So take a few moments right where you are sitting and worship him out loud. Let your praises fill the room. Oh, yes. You are in the presence of the Lord. Ask God to be faithful to reveal more because he is faithful and he will give you more and more of himself in the process. Let yourself go. The Holy Spirit is right, right there with you, helping you navigate and increase your relationship with the Father. Even right now, he is looking for and expecting your faithfulness. It is a trait of those who truly love him and are called according to his purpose. Tap into the principle of exponential increase through agreement. Loudly proclaim your agreement to the Lord. Let your yea be yea. Your agreement to have a relationship with the creator of the universe affirms the fact that two are better than one if they are united. And God is faithful to reward your faithfulness. As you grow in faith, he fulfills your commission to imitate Christ, allowing you to tear down and destroy the works of the devil. Amen. Let's destroy the works of the devil. Let's not let him have a place in our life anymore. He's going to allow you to perform signs and wonders and judge the unfaithfulness of those who choose to ignore him or question his goodness and wisdom. Those who refuse to perform signs and wonders because God, by his very nature, is compelled by his holiness to judge everything that opposes love. God's divine assignments that allow us to rise up in his name This may provoke those around us, especially those in the religious community or those closest to you. But always bear in mind that Satan hates the objects of God's affection, so he will attack you on a personal level. But we can't let that deter us from pursuing the place of favor that God has made available to us. This should not deter us from worshiping in spirit and in truth where the true power and authority lie because religion will never provide a believer with an opportunity to see or experience the face of God or know him in any form or fashion. We don't want to be filled with the religious spirit where we serve on committees and do good things like we're do-gooders, but yet we're full of all this, this stuff, this wanting to get somebody or, you know, talk about somebody or, you know, fight with somebody or trap somebody. You don't want that kind of life because that means we don't really know him We don't really let the Holy Spirit guide us. Yes, God has given us the Holy Spirit. He's given us a helper to break from that religious spirit and come into relationship, a full and true relationship with him. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit is the Bible's cure-all that leads us into a fulfilled relationship that expects miracles. Yes, I expect miracles and amazing signs. Yes, 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 and wonders along the way. So keep seeing yourself in the garden, standing arm in arm with God. But now it's starting to rain. Do you 
feel that soft, fresh rain. It's so cool. Lift your face towards heaven and let it wash over you. You should expect an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to be like this rain. Oh, it touches every part of you. It's a heavenly invasion with seasons where God storms his spirit on you, where you are deluged and permeated to the core of your being. Heaven is pouring down upon you. Feel its all-powerful and soaking power, ever drenching and wetting, wetting you to the core of your being. God's heart is truly seen in his face, and it is revealed to you more and more in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, and it will transform your life, your family, your church, your city, your neighborhood, your community, and your culture. It will create a people group so passionate and committed to the face-to-face encounters with God that it will bring glory and honor only to Him, the one true God. The good news is you don't have to wait beyond the moment to experience this. You don't have to wait until your behavior is modified to a place of perfection before God gets right up into your face and then into your heart. He is a workman. He has created us in his own image. His will is made known to us and it will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You need only be willing vessels with smiles on your faces and faithfulness in your heart. No one can see the face of God and live, and that is a good thing. When God comes about face, look up, and with eyes wide open, immediately die to yourself. Become an empty vessel so he might come alive in you and pour himself into you. The result will be profound, infused with unspeakable joy as your countenance illuminates and reflects his very own, radiating his genuine character of love and peace and joy and eternal wisdom. When the light of God touches you, you become light. In whatever fashion God has touched your life today, you have become a manifestation of that very reality. It's one of the great mysteries of the gospel, testifying of its ability to completely transform the nature of everything it touches. This is the true face of God. Let it consume, let it shine, let it release his unmerited favor. Let it show his unending power and authority and let it transform each and every one of us into his perfect image. Amen, my dear ones. Amen and hallelujah. Be set free indeed. Christ came to set us free. So be free. In Jesus' name, amen.